freezing weather can be brought by and hypothermia unless a person is prepared. Today, we talk about how to stay warm, bright, and safe. Frostbite is damage that happens when the skin is exposed to extreme cold for too long. It mainly happens the, on the hand, first nose, and ears. People with minor case frostbite that affect only skin may not suffer any permanent damage. But if deeper tissue is affected, a person is likely to feel pain every time the area gets cold. If blood pressure are the damage, people can suffer a gangrene infection. Sometimes the only way doctor can frostbite area like finger and toes. Hypothermia is a condition that develops when the body cannot produce at most heat at its release. Signs of hypothermia include uncontrollable shaking, very slow breathing, and difficulty thinking clearly. Hypothermia can lead to death if the person does not receive to avoid cold-related injuries, here is a simple way to remember for basic steps to stay warm. In cold, C-O-L-D, this stands for cover. Wear a hat and scarf to keep heat from escaping through the head, neck and ears. And wear mittens instead of clothes in clothes. The fingers are separated, so the hands may not stay as warm as they would in mitten. The O stands for overexertion. Avoid activities that will make you sweaty. Wet clothes and cold weather are dangerous combinations. L is for layers. Wearing new life way are on one layer on top of another a pair than wearing a single heavy layer of clothing. Make sure our sweater is made of material that is water resistant and tiny. E is for dry. In other words, stay as dry as possible. Pay attention to the places where snow can enter clothing. This include the top of boots, the nest of coats, and the crisp area of mittens or gloves. And here are two other things to keep in mind, one for children and the others for adults. Eating snow might be fun, but it lowers the body temperature. And drinking alcohol might make a person feel warm. But what it really does, it weakens the body's ability to hold heat. Next week, advice from experts about what to do and not to do to help someone who is injured by cold weather. For VOA Special English, I'm Alice Barrett.